Well, farm state lawmakers call President Trump's proposed cuts to the agriculture budget harsh and short-sighted, saying they're a non-starter on Capitol Hill. Today, U.S. Ag Secretary Sonny Perdue testifies in front of lawmakers on the proposal. RFD-TV's D.C. News Bureau Chief Sarah Mock now joins us in Washington, D.C. Thanks, Janet. Well, it was another packed room to see Secretary Sonny Perdue come before the Appropriations Subcommittee alongside his Undersecretary for Budget and the USDA Chief Economist. Now, it started off a little rough. Uh, many legislators were not happy with what they saw, including uh, Georgia Sen Congressman Sanford Bishop, who showed Secretary Sonny Perdue his, how he was displeased with the president's budget. Mr. Secretary, you said that you will make rural America a priority. And I know without a doubt that you want to do that. However, we both know that this budget does the exact opposite of fulfilling that promise. Now, of course, there were a couple of big themes today. One of the first right out of the gate was the Supplemental, Nutri Supplemental Nutrition or Food Stamps Program, which, of course, many were upset that it was uh, the proposed cuts of about $193 billion. Uh, Secretary Perdue defended the budget, saying that uh, those were not actual cuts, but instead the program requests that states match the program up to 25 percent in the future. Of course, another big issue today was crop insurance. Crop insurance uh, under the proposed budget would cap uh, premiums for farmers at $40,000 a year and uh, proposed means testing for uh, programs like ARC and PLC. Uh, the secretary defended funding changes, uh, saying that it allowed farmers more freedom to choose. My goal, my principal, I guess, as USDA secretary, as we help to advise and consult as you all deal with the farm bill, is devise programs that let the market determine what people plant. They shouldn't be planning for programs, for USDA programs or uh, agricultural programs, but let them let the market determine, let them have the nimble uh, ability to, to move among and to create products and provide uh, products and produce products that the world is asking for uh, rather than farming for a particular program. Of course, rural development was another top issue with the secretary's reorganization at the USDA. Many were concerned about uh, what the secretary has in the past called an elevation of the program actually being a demotion with many zeroed out budgets under rural development as well as almost a thousand jobs cut from the program uh, under the FY18 budget. This, of course, all comes back to what Mike Young, that undersecretary for the budget, said yesterday, that this is about President Trump's goal to reduce the deficit and manage taxpayers' money better. Janet? Well, Sarah, I know agriculture, of course, we know, has responded quite strongly to the White House's budget proposal. Uh, what's been the reaction that you've kind of caught a feel of there in D.C.? You know, people are not very excited about the budget. The American Soybean Association came out yesterday with a lot of very, very aggressive comments, uh, not happy about how the budget leaves rural America and farmers with what they described as a slashed safety net. Uh, of course, uh, Chairman, Win Chairman Conway of the Ag Committee uh, on the congressional side and Senator Pat Roberts on the Senate side came out kind of soft as a response, uh, hoping that, you know, believing in the, the principles of the agreement, but hoping that they would be able to move forward and protect a, a robust safety net during farmers in this tough time. But the takeaway here is that at the end of the day, uh, Congress. Well, thank you very much, Sarah. We appreciate it. Again, D.C. News Bureau Chief Sarah Mock from our Washington, D.C. News Bureau.